Today we're going to talk about how to fix your computer when your SSD, like one of these, fails. So the first thing to know is what are some of the signs of SSD failure so that you know what to look for when those occur. One of the first things is you might see is you might have issues opening up games or running applications. You might get errors like this. Another thing you'll see is your operating system might boot up slower than usual. So you might end up stuck in one of these startup screens for a much longer period of time than you're used to. That's another sign. Lastly, what will happen if your computer is not recognizing your SSD at all, it'll actually just boot into the BIOS rather than jumping into your operating system. It'll get stuck in the BIOS because it won't recognize that there's actually a bootable drive within the computer. Now, there's a few things you can do to ensure that it is in fact your SSD that's failed. These troubleshooting steps are actually pretty straightforward and easy, so let's talk through those. The first one that I like to do is taking my SSD and moving it to a different slot. Most motherboards, especially an ATX motherboard like the one you'll see here, has two to three M.2 slots. There are several SATA ports that you could use if you're using one of these as your main boot drive. So stick that in another slot, restart your computer and see if the SSD is showing up in your BIOS or seeing if your computer goes straight into Windows without any issues. That could be a sign that it's actually the slot on your motherboard that's the problem and not your SSD. The next thing you can look at is checking to see if your SSD actually shows up in your BIOS. If your SSD is not showing up in the BIOS, that's a pretty clear sign that the SSD might be having issues. It's probably either failing or has already completely failed. And then the last thing to do is you can actually try out a different SSD that already has Windows and stuff booted onto it in the same slots that you tested out with your old SSD to make sure that you can 100% say that it is not the slots on the motherboard that have failed, it is the SSD. So your SSD has failed, you've confirmed it within you know 90, 95% confidence. Now, what do you do next? Well, if you're able to let the system cool down and sit for a while and reboot back into Windows, immediately do your best to copy any files that might be important to an external drive so that you'll have those when you get your new SSD. The other thing you should do is you should probably order a new SSD. You can also check to see the manufacturer's warranty on your current SSD because it might still be under warranty and you might be able to get a new one for free or maybe just for the cost of shipping it back to the manufacturer. So make sure you check that on your manufacturer's website. It should be a pretty straightforward process. If your SSD is not under warranty anymore, it's time to start ordering a new SSD. There's a lot of good stuff out there. Make sure to do your research and pick a solid one. Maybe we'll put out another video talking about some of the best SSDs that are out there and what to pick and what not to pick. Once you have the new SSD, it's time to actually physically swap out the old SSD for the new SSD in your motherboard. So let's do that right now. Now replacing your SSD is super simple, especially on these newer motherboards. Really all you need to do is pull off this heat sink. A lot of times the SSD is, doesn't even require a tool to actually pull it off. I'm gonna demonstrate that right now. So we're just gonna go in and we are going to back out these two screws, holding the heat sink on. The heat sink comes right off. As you can probably see down there, this one is actually completely toolless so all I have to do is rotate that little catch clockwise and it'll actually release the SSD just like that and now you can see it's up at a slight angle and we're just going to pull that out horizontally there you go your SSD is out in order to put the new one in you're going to do the exact same thing you're going to put it up at you know a 15 to 20 degree angle into the slot slide it all the way in until you feel it completely into the slot it won't let you push it in anymore just going to push it down flat like that and then rotate that little catch counterclockwise again and now it's back in place you have a heat sink like we do on this one, you're just gonna put that back and you're all done. That's all it takes to replace your SSD. Now that your new SSD is installed, we're gonna to need to create Windows installation media so that we can install Windows onto this new SSD. We're gonna go over to my other station and I'll show you how to do that. Okay, so you're gonna need a flash drive that has at least eight to 10 gigabytes of storage space and doesn't have anything on it that you don't wanna get deleted because once we create this installation media, everything else that's on that USB drive is gonna go away. What you gotta do is just go into Google and type in Windows installation media. It's gonna be on that Microsoft support page. I'm gonna click on Windows 11. And then we're gonna go to create Windows installation media here. It's gonna walk you through all of that. All you really gotta do is follow this information that they give you there, but I'll show you how it goes here too. So you just click download now. It's gonna download this creation tool and this creation tool is gonna walk you through everything. You're gonna, you know, accept the terms and conditions that you totally are gonna read. I didn't for the purpose of this video, but you know, it's a, it's a great read. You should definitely read it. You can select use the recommended options for this PC. That's fine. Click on next. You're gonna click on USB flash drive. You'll see here it says you need at least eight gigabytes. So I was, I was on on that one. Then you just click next and then it's going to recognize the USB drive that you have connected to your computer. You can see I have USB drive D that I just connected in and it's empty. 
So you're gonna just select that, hit next, and it's gonna begin downloading Windows 11 as a bootable. Start downloading the installation media onto that USB drive. So it's gonna be bootable from your brand new SSD once you plug it into your new computer. All right, and that's all there was to it. Once it completed the installation process, you just click finish and your USB drive is now ready. Now, all you gotta do is take this USB drive, put it into your new computer, boot it up, and go through the installation process. I'm not gonna just show you guys how to do that because that computer already has Windows on it, but it's super easy, it's straightforward, and I hope this really helps you guys out. If you guys have any other ideas for things that you'd like to see, let me know in the comments, and make sure you hit that subscribe button so you get to see all of the amazing content we're putting out. All right, hope you have a good day.